If it's got wheels and a motor, it will usually be here. And that was certainly the case on Sunday at Canadian River, where hundreds of off-roaders made their way down into the river for some Labor Day holiday fun. Just off-road vehicles, dirt bikes, and four-wheelers, and side-by-sides, riding trails, and off-road uh, four-by-fours, climbing, going through the mud. Not that there's much of it. We're just out here doing like we do over Labor Day weekend, come out and play and ride our four-wheelers and have fun. But this year it was bad news for these off-roading daredevils. They would not be able to purchase an up-to-date permit for their vehicle in time for the Labor Day weekend. We tried to get the 2012 stickers because uh, 11s expire in August. For some reason, they don't issue them. They don't let the dealers buy them a week ahead of time so we could get them on time. That deters quite a few people. I got several friends that wanted to come, but they didn't want to take the chance of getting a, a very expensive ticket. And yet, there were still plenty of risk takers at the river on Sunday with expired permits. Legally, yeah, we could be ticketed, but I had heard, and I don't know if it's just a rumor, that they said they would not be issuing tickets this weekend because of the confusion or the delay in getting the new stickers. So despite the issue with permits this year, you'll probably still find plenty of revving engines and clouds of dust filling up the Canadian River the rest of the holiday. Emily Griffin, Pro News 7.